Hey guys, today is July 11th, 2017. It's Tuesday. Um, this is Nina and this is my pre-op, like the day before my VSG surgery. So I figured I'd do a video today even though I'll be weighing in and doing videos on Wednesdays. Um, so start with my spiel. I had lap band surgery in April of 2014. I lost 70 pounds with the lap band. And then I developed pancreatitis due to needing my gallbladder be removed. I had my gallbladder removed on August of 2015. And then my band went to shit. My band slipped officially in December of 2016. And I had my band removed in March. 2017 uh, when I decided to have a revision to the sleeve so I officially started this new journey at 260 pounds I made a video last week yeah so last week I was 250 pounds and today I am 246.4 so I've lost 3.6 pounds in the past week, which is great. I'll take, for starving, I will take anything um, because that's how I feel. I feel like I'm starving myself. And I don't like messing around with different scales. So even though I'll weigh in at the hospital tomorrow, I probably won't use that weight just because I like to stick to one scale. And... So my surgery will be sometime tomorrow between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. I don't know yet. My surgeon's office won't call me until between 5 and 8 p.m. tonight, which is kind of stressful, but it's okay. I live in Jersey City, New Jersey, and I'm having surgery in Long Island. It's about an hour drive without traffic, so to avoid any stress of the morning commute and we do have to drive through Manhattan to get there. Um, we are staying in a hotel so my boyfriend and I will be staying overnight. Also my parents are here from Florida which is nice so they'll be staying in the hotel as well. Um, and then I stay one night at the hospital and hopefully get released on Thursday. So, I've kind of set out some goals for myself that I wanted to put out into the universe. Um, so, the first, I'm calling them milestones because I feel like you can have smaller goals. So, I might set out to do three days worth of exercise or some kind of smaller like goals but I call these more milestones that's how I want to start thinking about them um, so the first is to lose 30 pounds and I'm hoping to do that by September 6th um, I would love to hit Wonderland by January 24th of next year and then really the third milestone is a huge one for me because this is where the lowest weight I got to with the lap band. It's not my lowest adult weight ever, but I felt really, really good at this weight when I got there with the lap band. So that's 190 and I'm hoping to get there by March 7th. So depending on how my weight loss goes and how I'm averaging, I'm kind of nerdy when it comes to numbers and I'll be looking at trends of my weight loss and all of that. Um, I might readdress the dates, but for now, just averaging, you know, based on what I've already lost, plus averaging about a pound, pound and a half weight loss a week, um, that's where I expect to be able to get. Um, so, in terms of the surgery tomorrow, I this is my fourth, fourth surgery. Um, I'm still nervous. I'm always nervous. So I'm just trying to, I'm happy that, you know, I'm going to work 
soon. I'll have the day of work to kind of distract me and then um, having to take our dog to our dog sitter and driving out to Long Island. I'm hoping that I'm distracted enough that I'm not freaking out because in the past I freaked out. Um, so I'm really hoping that that isn't the case. And um, I've proactively officially taken off three days of work. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I've told my boss slash bosses um, that I will potentially be working from home the following Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but that depending on how things go, I might not be working. So we'll see. They're super flexible and understand that health comes first, which is great. Um, I've already started to make so my surgeon post-op has you going straight to period foods. There's no liquid diet in between, which is great because while these shakes that I make are the consistency of a milkshake and they're delicious, they're good. Um, I'm sick of eating chocolate. So I've made like a chicken salad type thing, pureed. I haven't gotten crazy and gotten ahead of myself to make too many more things, but because I want to see what my body is tolerating. But I've purchased, you know, ricotta cheese and some ground meat, so um, I'm prepared if my body is able to tolerate it, and I'll be happy to eat. That's what I'm really looking forward to: is eating something that's not chocolate, vanilla, Jello flavored. Um, the chicken broth that I'm allowed to have every day is like literally like my treat. So, um, yeah, I think that's really it. I don't have a ton today. I'm feeling nervous trying to reach out to those who also are having surgery this week. Um, actually T, what's her YouTube name? It's like. I'll put it below because I'm going to say something wrong. <laughs> She's having surgery like right now. Um, and then there's a few people I found on Instagram that I've been talking to. One who has surgery the same day as me. So that's been really exciting to kind of talk to someone who's going through the same liquid diet and blah, blah, blah. Um, really enjoying Instagram. If you're on there, my name is Nina P. V. S. G. Um... So looking forward to your updates and how seeing how everybody else is doing this week and for those having surgery, good luck. I'm sure you'll do well. We're going to kick ass and I will probably do some light check-ins. I don't know, tonight, tomorrow, we'll see. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.